Hi Leos, and welcome to your January 2020 general tarot forecast. This is Sky here to um, talk you through some of the incredible energies coming in for this month for you. Um, I think that January is an interesting and potentially beguiling month for most Leo people. As a Leo rising myself, I see how there is a bit of frustration here and a bit of angst or worry about how you're moving forward. But at the same time, there's a lot of good power and there's a lot of good... Um, understanding of yourself that comes in as you kind of start to realize that all of the um, excess details that uh, are giving you pressure are not really important to look at right now. It's just all about finding a sense of comfort and a sense of um, productivity and proficiency in what you're doing. Um, as my own personal story, Leo's, uh, the January readings are kind of a little bit delayed this month and are coming a little bit late because I've been having some technological uh, problems. So I've had to buy a new computer because the old one just decided to quit working. You know, after doing uh, hundreds and hundreds of 4K videos over 2019, it just decided that it was going to like um, quit working. So I bought a new computer and um, there was a big delay on the shipping. So I've had to kind of go through a difficult time in developing these readings in the technical sense. And so I was like calling the computer company and I'm like, okay, is there any way that we can ship this faster? And they weren't really having it. They weren't really happy to talk about anything like that. And of course I was like completely polite because I totally get it. It's like holiday time. But you know, I was just curious, can we like ship it faster? Can I, is there any way that I can get this computer faster? You know, it's like what I do for a living. Um, and it was an annoyance for the computer company to even discuss <laughs> such things. So I feel like um, I felt very... Leo in that moment and I felt like uh, with all the Capricorn energy with that sort of difficult quincunx that is there for you guys um, there's a bit of a delay there's a bit of um, uh, people aren't really wanting to talk to you about logistics maybe people aren't really wanting to spend a lot of time um, just sort of you know thinking if, if there are possibilities to speed things up or possibilities to make things much easier. And within that, Leo, there's an important lesson to see that sometimes things are meant to be delayed. Sometimes things are not meant to go super smoothly so that you can kind of detach from it and find smoothness elsewhere. So what I've learned as a Leo rising in my own experience this month is that smoothness has to be found somewhere. And if it's not coming naturally in one place, you've got to kind of accept that there's a slowness or a delay there and find your smoothness elsewhere. So what is something that feels like a smooth place in your life right now, Leo? Is there maybe a new area that you need to explore? Is there a new um, pathway for you? Is there something that's really opened up that you haven't seen yet? You guys have an interesting combination of major arcana this month with judgment, the devil, the chariot, and the hermit. Um, there's so many different kinds of energies coming in for you this month, and it's all going to kind of wrap back around your own sense of purity and your own sense of purification. I feel this to be like a really purifying month for you. So um, yeah, detox, cleansing the body, it could be really good um, from now until March really is a really good opportunity for Leo to purify its own body. Um, to realize that maybe if there are a lot of delays on the outside, perhaps there are some delays on the inside too. Maybe digestion is slow. Maybe um, your thyroid is slow. Maybe there's just some kind of delay inside too or a delayed response to something that's not good for you, sticking yourself out or staying in situations that aren't good for you. Um, really look towards delays, I'm feeling. And that's not just because of my own experience that I had as a Leo rising, but I feel that in, uh, I've seen that in other Leos I've seen in Leo's that I've had readings with that like there is a sense of slowness right now and there is a sense that like you know there's not immediacy really so the Capricorn energy is slowing you down a little bit it's letting you take things one step at a time so that you don't trip up because you guys have ten of swords in your reading you have ace of swords queen of swords the devil you have a lot of energies that might uh, really cause harm if you trip up or if you move too quickly or if you're being too nimble again you're like the nimble feline energy so you've got to kind of slow down and move more more regimented right now with the Capricorn energy. I think that that's one of the main reasons that Capricorn and Leo are not the most harmonious uh, combinations is because, again, Leo is a very quick-moving, fiery, energetic energy, whereas Capricorn is a slow burn, you know, um, a very nimble as well, very coordinated energy, but it does it in a different way. So you've got something to learn this month, Leo, about how you coordinate your plans or how you coordinate your uh, life, how you coordinate uh, with other people, um, because there are implications for other people. I do think you're meeting new people this month, and I think that you're waving goodbye to people who've been around for too long as well. Uh, Ten of Swords and the Devil coming up in the same reading says that there might be toxic people in your life, or there might be people who are slowing you down or who are kind of... Um, 
making your energy needing to breathe hard or short of breath or heavy or hard to move quickly. So there's some dead excess energetic weight to shed this month for you guys and as you do that i mean you're going straight into the first week there with ace of swords rooted down by judgment you wake up immediately with a new energy with a new sense of energy with new ideas new abilities to um, be profitable or new abilities to be successful in your life it's all there like i feel that you know deeply how to be successful in whatever your goals or aspirations are right now it's just a matter of how quickly that process comes in um, so week number one, see what you want, see what you're waking up to, see what you crave when you first wake up or see what you crave um, without really um, questioning that so much. And that's very illuminating for you. And then week number two, you could see that those cravings or these things that you're wanting or these things that you feel are necessary may not be as necessary as you thought. There might be some shackles to break relating to the necessities or the perceived necessities in your life. This is another way that Leo does well during Capricorn time is to break from old addictive cycles of um, illusion as it relates to a necessity. And um, one, one thing about January is it's a very honest time. In January till March of this year is super, super honest energy to see the truth of um, you know, what was or wasn't love in your life, what was or wasn't a good situation or a good job or a good health um, system. It's going to be so clear. And week number two might try to kind of blur that mirror for you. And you need to really keep strong and really affirm to yourself that you're prepared to see the truth or that you're prepared to have progress when it comes to seeing the realities of your own life. Um, so week number three, that's the week for everybody. Third week of December and third week of January both had really big implications for everybody. And for you guys, it's the five of cups over ten of swords. Um, breakups that have needed to happen, closures that have needed to happen, um, hard truths that needed to be spoken, okay? That is the energy of the third week. And if you can do it, how blessed you will be, you know, how blessed you will be. You can know you can go either way. It's like King of Wands or the Hermit as you're going into the fourth week. Like if you can get these hard truths spoken, these difficult chains cut off, you can go into King of Wands mode and you can be more like, um, uh, jovial, more adventurous, more profitable, more, you know, in the power. Whereas if you kind of hold on to things, you might have to go into hermit mode and there's a lot of shadow work to be done. There's a lot of like, um, you know, uh, hard truth to see in, in more quiet ways. So, uh, it's up to you, Leo, which way you would like to go this month. It is a crossroads for you. Uh, queen of swords is your central theme says that there is really good discernment though. And a really good, again, ability to see the truth, ability to have x-ray vision, you know, reading between the lines, seeing what people mean by their words, even if it's not completely, um, honest, you know it. Like, there's a truth even in dishonesty for you here, Leo, if that did come into your experience. Um, everything is truthful. Everything is honest to you this month. Can you follow through on the truths that come into your life here? Okay? You know, that's the question for Leos that I feel really coming in. So, and I'm going to um, say that the rewards that come to you are incredible because the combination, again, of Capricorn and Leo energy is um, abundant wealth, abundant power. You know, this is kingship. This is uh, sovereignty. This is um, absolute self-independence, you know, when Leo and Capricorn come together. But, oh my gosh, does it take a lot of work and sometimes a lot of clashing to achieve that in this societal structure. So that's the only thing, but it's totally possible. And even if that's not really your game right now, if that's not really your goal, if you're just kind of operating where you're at... Um, there's going to be such a good opportunity to maybe revamp your environment or to revamp your, your house, your home, your, your routine, your, your rhythms as a person, again, detoxing, cleansing, making the body healthier, maybe like a parasite cleanse, maybe a, um, maybe a, you know, just cleansing your body by withholding. So, uh, not having the caffeine in the same way or not having the, the uh, fried food or whatever it is in the same way, like just taking it away. You know, Leo can actually accomplish really good things just by removing something, just by removing um, a toxic person or by removing a toxic uh, consumable or by removing um, a toxic, you know, quote unquote medicine. There are a lot of things that Leo can really heal from just by resistance, okay? And resistance, so that's a word that kind of has a lot of connotation in the spiritual community. I'll say just by um, withdrawing, just by removing, okay? Um, that is a Saturnian theme, and Leo sometimes is not about removing. Leo is sometimes about giving, you know, more and more. You're the sun, you're about energizing. So it's never so much for Leo about walking away, 
And I would encourage you guys as you move through the month to think about that, like how sometimes in your psychology, it's never about getting rid of something. It's never about letting go. It's about getting more. It's about expanding. It's kind of all the fire signs can be this way, especially Leo and Sag. It's kind of about like adding more, adding more, adding more, and then saving it, adding more, adding more, adding more, and then saving it. But in our current paradigm, it is truly about letting go and then allowing in. So you let go and something comes in. If you're holding on, holding on and not really letting go, um, nothing really comes in. So keep that in mind. Know what you need to release at this time and you will go really far. Leo, thank you so much for being here. For those of you who are new to my channel, be sure to hit that red subscribe button below um, and hit the bell button so you can get notified when I post. If you guys wanted to join my Patreon to get these readings early and ad free, I would love to have you guys over there. It's super fun. And on my my website I have private reading slots for January and February as well as reports if any are still in stock so you guys can go and explore over there if you wanted to um, really jump start your spiritual journey in the new year so I'll talk to you guys soon much love check out your sun moon rising sign we'll be talking soon Leo bye bye